when you're there, it's all about basketball. It's all about the Kings. Typical fans focus on what they see, even if their ears register things or their noses do. But 80% of input normally is, is through vision. For, for me, it's sound. We were born about two months premature, and my parents didn't even know they were having twins. Because we were premature and very small, we were in incubators, and back then, the doctors hadn't realized that when they gave infants pure oxygen in those incubators, that it could burn the retinas, the eyes, and then scar tissue formed, resulting in blindness. My sister didn't stay in the incubator quite as long as I did, so she had quite a bit of vision, even if it wasn't perfect, and I didn't have any because I was in there the longest. Martha and I were together so much, I actually relied on her to describe things to me. When we were playing on playgrounds at school, she would make sure I didn't get lost. But Martha helped me greatly, and we're like two halves of a whole, even if we are different people. She started saying things were getting blurry, probably sophomore year of high school. And of course, you know, the parents took her right away to specialists, and they did operations, they said, that her retina was detaching. It was devastating, you know, because no matter how good I could see or how poor I, it was what I had, I was terrified to go back to school. And you know how teenagers are, and they're all whispering, because I had missed, you know, half a year of school. And I thought, I don't even know how to walk down these hallways. It was horrible, because I never knew what I was missing, you know, because I never had it. But to see her lose it, even if it wasn't 2020 vision, it was still, it was still sight. You know, we changed places when I lost my sight. She was my savior, because I don't know what I would have done without Margaret to show me what to do. I never saw a basketball game. Back in the old days, you know, when I still had sight, somehow it just came, it came about. We'd started going to a few games here, a few games there, more and more games, till we decided we just wanted to go to the mall. People probably wonder maybe, why do blind people come to games, you know, when they can't see it? My picture may or may not be realistic, I don't know, but it still works for me. And I know where my players are and where they're running. I can hear their, their shoes, how they squeak on the floor, you know, when they run. I can hear the balls bouncing. I can hear the balls going through the net or hitting the backboard. It, it's just exciting because you're part of it. Johnson, he fires to win it, and James Johnson wins it at the buzzer. And Johnson is being spot. Sometimes it's very electric, but I have the radio turned up as high as I can turn it. I can't hear it. King's Cub just goes bonkers. And, but with, which is nice because that means, you know, our, the arena's rocking. Just for them to hear the energy and the vibe of the crowd, you know, um, I bet you that gets them going like no other. You know, I, I can't step in their shoes any way or, or say how they would feel any way. It's just amazing that they're still out here supporting. Very avid fans. Devoted. Very devoted. You know, we bleed purple, all four yeah. of us. The Kings have brought us close together, but it, being together at the games also bring us closer to the Kings. I mean, we've seen them laugh, we've seen them cry, get angry, you know, get upset, get, you know, exuberant about the games. That's our team, and we want them to stay here. And yeah, it would be devastating if they were pulled away from us. As you guys have heard, there was an agreement signed up in Seattle to purchase the Sacramento Kings. Does that mean it's over? Absolutely not. I was just having a regular morning and Gary called me and said, the Maloofs are selling the Kings. I went, what? So I got off the phone and I just started to cry. Like it, the longer I thought about it, the more it felt like, like I lost someone. Every shred of hope or every shred of, of fear is, is magnified because we're such fanatics. I mean, that's what the word fan comes from, and we are, and we just love our kings. I'm a big fan of, of both Martha and Margaret. I don't think they look at their 
a lack of eyesight as a disability. I think they look at it as an asset. We're going to do everything we can to keep our team here in Sacramento. Certainly this basketball team has a very special place in all of our hearts. Mayor Johnson is a, a hero to me. It might sound corny, but he is. I don't know that any of the things that are going on now would have happened without him. Basketball is a sport and it's fun. It doesn't overshadow, you know, family or other activities that we have. It's just, it's part of what we do. I would miss the Kings. I hope they don't leave. But like I said, about other things that happen in life that maybe you wish hadn't, you still go on. But I still hope they stay.